This is my HHO system. I'm uh, using those two batteries here, the deep cycle and uh, this which I got at Walmart uh, to charge them up, a speed charger which I'm using right now to charge the batteries. I've been experiencing a lot with those uh, HHO system there. Uh, I'm now gonna try with uh, this type of water. It's a great value, one dollar Walmart. <laughs> Let's give that a try. I know some people are going to say, why didn't you mix the water, da da dee da da da, hey guys, just try it, alright? That's what I did, I didn't believe and I tried. So here, I passed it through water a second time, so this is the container which is bringing the water in and the water out of the cell. So this is coming in and out on the top going there so what I noticed there it's uh, it's accumulating uh, like with the heat and all that some moisture on the line so I decided to pass it through like normal water normal temperature like room temperature and uh, it's uh, a lot more better after and as you can see this is real HHO The sounds that's coming with it. I'm currently running my cell at 23.3 uh, volts and uh, I'm averaging 15-20 uh, amps. I try a mini configuration. Uh, some people told me uh, to put a hole in the middle of my cell which I tried on this one and it didn't make much of a difference. I got a one tablespoon of uh, baking soda that brand. I don't know if you see it properly. And uh, with that baking soda there, uh, I was able to get that much. Uh, I would estimate it at maybe uh, one liter or maybe a liter and a half. I was getting more er on the earlier test. And uh, the first one I did, I was getting much more uh, with tap water. Uh, I'm going to keep on adding uh, some uh, baking soda. Uh, maybe I'm gonna try something else in the future to see if I can get the better results but so far it's not really impressive and this is a 11 plate cell that I'm using right now maybe more plate uh, I don't know if you guys have any idea let me know alright have a good day now